Hi, um, this is the start of probably uh, a long ongoing series of, uh, of videos about uh, central heating, uh, getting it installed, um, doing uh, you know, a lot of the work yourself and uh, I'll, I'll just explain our situation and, uh, and what we've had, uh, what, what's happened so far. We live in a, uh, what's classed as a four bedroom dormer bungalow um, so officially some of the bedrooms are downstairs and it's classified as having two upstairs. That, that's not how we use it. Uh, we've actually got some of the rooms uh, being used for other purposes. But it, it's an old 1920s solid wall dormer bungalow. Uh, the dormer part was added by the previous owner, probably in the 70s. It's been done to a very poor standard. The insulation is terrible. Um, he had uh, Economy 7 radiators installed, again probably late 70s, early 80s and unfortunately for us that was uh, never updated. Um, we've been here seven years and the cost of running the uh, Economy 7 is, you know, is massive and, and really in the winter our lounge will never get much, uh, much warmer than sort of 58, 59 degrees. A couple of years ago we thought we would install a more so squirrel multi-fuel stove and uh, to run that with a few logs from the garden and coal. Uh, we had first year I think we had uh, 40 bags of coal delivered, they're 25 kilo bags and this last year we had 50 uh, bags delivered um, but actually because of the bad winter we probably needed nearer 60 uh, bags of coal. The problem is we, we run it in the lounge and uh, really try and heat the whole house with it so it's of course burning quite uh, quite strongly um, with good airflow all of the time. But there's a few issues with that. Firstly the uh, top baffle plate becomes damaged, it's cast iron but it, it is eaten away by the intense heat. Same with the fire bricks uh, and uh, the same with the uh, quartz High, you know, sorry, the ceramic glass panel in the door. So each year we probably have a hundred pounds worth of parts, the change on the boiler, plus the cost of the coal uh, and things like that. So whilst it's helped the last couple of years, uh, this last winter has been so bad that we've decided we've got to try and get some uh, central heating installed somehow. Uh, the, the problem also is that we don't have a gas connection to the property. Um, so we've had to uh, get a quote from British Gas to connect gas to the property. Uh, that quote came back at uh, £750. Uh, fortunately we have found uh, a company called National Grid and the, the, their website is simple, simply nationalgrid.com I think um, and you can do an online quote by entering your, your details there and we got a quote back from them for 639 so a substantial uh, amount less and that was with a 10 meter run over our private land to the wall on the front of the house where they would install the the gas meter and the box so we've got that expense to start with um, we thought the sensible thing uh, would be to get British gas out Apparently they install 93,000 boilers every year. Uh, we expected they would be a little bit more expensive than uh, you know other suppliers, but we thought the backup and the service that you would get uh, would be uh, worth possibly that extra money. So we uh, we phoned up a month or five or six weeks ago uh, and made an appointment for one of their central heating advisors to uh, turn up. Uh, they didn't turn up on the day so I wasted a whole day waiting around for them and uh, when I phoned that afternoon I was told that the, the heating advisor had called out, had prepared a quote uh, and I said well unless I'd had a stroke uh, then he definitely hasn't. <laughs> uh, we made another appointment which was a couple of weeks uh, for a couple of weeks later and a heating advisor did actually turn up in the end. Um, strangely one of the first things he said as he walked through the door was that uh, British gas are about 30% more over uh, you know another 
uh, independent uh, heating installer. I thought it was a bit of a strange thing for a, uh, a central heating advisor to say. It's hardly starting off on the right foot when you're telling the customer that you're going to be screwing them over to the tune of 30% over somebody else. But anyway, we um, we did let him have a look around, took some basic measurements, gave us loads of uh, you know leaflets, and talked about this uh, you know free remote heating controller, and you can claim up to 270 pound Green Deal government cash back. Uh, hardly worth all the effort when you actually look into it. Um, but anyway, his uh, laptop obviously has special software um, and. Uh, they can produce an instant quote and they just print it out for us. Now, I'll be honest, we we expected a quote of, you know, maybe £5,000, something like that. And uh, the uh, the advisor thought just a fraction more. Uh, and bear in mind, this is for a um, one of their 430i boilers, system boiler, and only seven radiators. Now I've got into it a bit more myself, I think we actually need a fair few more radiators than that. But the quote was for the system boiler, the 430i, and seven radiators, and obviously all the pipe work and all the bits and pieces that you need. And uh, he printed it out and said, oh, well this is substantially more than even I thought. And uh, I've cut the private information off of this uh, this quote. Um, so obviously, I don't want the private information on on, uh, on YouTube, but I've got it in my hand. The the quote was for the boiler and seven rads and all the bits and pieces that go with it was thirteen thousand pounds. I'll just pause there while that sinks in. Thirteen thousand pounds. Of course, we were pretty shocked uh, at that. Um, we already had a very, very accurate idea of the cost of the materials, and you know it's uh, two and a half grand-ish, something like that, unless all of this was, uh, you know, gold-plated, or perhaps they were installing a boiler in each of the rooms. Um, but yeah, thirteen thousand uh, pounds. Even the sales, uh, the central heating advisor was shocked by that. And he said over the weekend he would revise the quote by hand and then would email me the revised quote on the, on the Monday morning. And for the last two weeks we have been phoning and I've sent him texts uh, and I've, you know, multiple times I've rung British Gas and we've had no revised quotes. Nobody had rung us back until I lost the plot on the phone yesterday with them when one of their, I don't know whether their area managers rang, uh, there's two guys there, Paul and Bob, and one of them phoned me back. I explained what had happened, he asked how many radiators there were, and he promised to call me back um, and explain what's gone on, etc, etc, within 24 hours. And it's uh, five o'clock on a Friday afternoon, and of course we've had no contact uh, whatsoever. Um, so. British Gas, your service sucks. £13,000 for a boiler and seven radiators. It's outrageous. Um, and then to not come back over, well, it's, it's two weeks. I think we had the quote on the 3rd. And it's, what, the 18th now? So we're well over two weeks since we had that original quote. And they have still not managed to do a, a revised quote frankly staggering incompetence from everyone I've spoken to uh, and would we be using them now even if they came back with a reasonable quote honestly I don't know and that's why I'm doing this online thing you know 93,000 boilers they install apparently every year <sighs> that's good good work if you can get it but I, the way we've been treated is uh, is frankly appalling so we have looked into uh, other things. Uh, uh, my mother-in-law found a uh, company called Fisher Heat UK and they've got uh, flash glossy brochures detailing their economy uh, uh, storage heaters and how they use half the power and produce the same heat. And I actually phoned them to make an appointment uh, and to get their guy around to give us a quote. Uh, right until I look them up online. If you type in Fisher UK Heat uh, or go to uh, Martin Lewis's money saving expert site, 
uh, you will find that they are slated by everybody that seems to have come across them uh, and they seem to be selling 250 quid uh, electric heaters made in Germany for anything up to £2,000 a time. Um, some of the stories on there are quite eye-opening and allegedly, from what I've read, they seem to prey on the elderly and vulnerable uh, with all sorts of classic double glazing salesman techniques and uh, when they phoned me back to actually make an appointment I told them I'm afraid I've researched your company and you've been slagged off everywhere and I would not want you within a hundred miles of, uh, of our house and the lady was uh, took it all in her stride and was not interested uh, in the slightest so yeah, if you're going to research, uh, you know, do research who you think you're going to use and their products. Money Saving Expert is a great site. We've also used uh, the witch.co.uk website to uh, look at various boilers. Um, their Best Buy boilers really only come down to two makes, and that is the uh, Worcester Bosch and the Valent uh, range of boilers. They all get very good ratings from the customers, uh, very, very efficient, uh, and so on. So yeah, have a look at Money Saving Experts uh, website. I've also, as I say, used Witch. Uh, that's uh, a very good website, although you, you can get a one month free trial, uh, sorry, one month trial for a pound. So I'd recommend you're doing, you do that if you're you know, in, investigating this sort of stuff. Um, anyway, the other things I have found uh, online is you can online, there are online calculators to work out the boiler size you need and the radiator uh, 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 wattage and things like that. And uh, we have used the radiator calculator is uh, at homesupply.co.uk and it's slash radiator underscore output underscore calculator dot php um, if you need to you know, change feet to uh, uh, metric like I do um, then I use the online conversion dot com uh, website for that I happen to want to calculate the area of the rooms and I've done it there as well and then a really good boiler calculator is uh, the idhee.org.uk slash calculator.html uh, address uh, that will ask you for uh, overall measurements of the property uh, what sort of walls you've got the uh, window types uh, levels all the sort of things that they would need to work out uh, the size of the boiler for you. Um, using those figures, uh, we have, oh, sorry, using that uh, idhee.org website, we have come up with uh, these figures are uh, window heat loss is 6.3 kilowatts, wall heat, heat loss 11.14, and roof heat loss uh, 7.62. So the recommended boiler size uh, was 37.1. Now British Gas said 30 kilowatts uh, would be fine and my own calculations uh, before today also suggested something between you know 31 and 35 so I think probably a 35 uh, watt a kilowatt boiler is probably okay um, looking at the recommended size of radiator wattage for all of the rooms and I've, I've measured all of these individually I'll show you in a second uh, the total radiator wattage came to uh, 22 kilowatts. Now I don't quite know what the correlation between the radiator wattage is and the boiler size uh, and how those two, two figures should uh, compare to each other but as I need to do a bit more research uh, on that one. But you know these figures seem to tie in with what British Gas have, uh, have suggested. Um, we will not be having, we've got a small utility room just off the kitchen uh, there really is only an electric tower rail in there which is fine and there's really no room for uh, radiators in the kitchen so we are thinking of perhaps a, uh, you know, a blown air um, plinth style heater in the kitchen or possibly as the kitchen runs off of a very large uh, hallway the heat generated there may warm the kitchen up so we don't have to uh, to worry about it. Um, so what I've done is I've gone around the whole house and I've just measured everything 
uh, and you can see this is our uh, drawing of our front room. Um, so we've got the measurements there, just roughly where the you know doors and windows are. When you're typing in the radiator calculations, you do need to work out the square, uh, the area, sorry, uh, of the the windows. And ours are old aluminium, single glazed windows. Uh, so obviously there's a lot more heat loss there. So we've got the ceiling height 9 foot, 396 square foot um, and the recommended or the required wattage. What I've done here is I have rounded up the watts but I have kept the BTUs exactly as the website uh, said. So I've rounded up to 6000 watts and that would be split into a radiator uh, down here and uh, another one up by the window. We've got bay windows. Uh, I know you can have angled rads made up, um, but I'll have to see, you know, we're looking at two, 3,000 watt radiators, so I'm gonna have to see whether the size that we can fit on the first section of the wall is enough to power that. If not, we might have a, a three-way angled radiator put in there. Uh, or we could have a third radiator uh, somewhere on this wall uh, to get to the 6,000 watts. Um, most of this doesn't seem, you know, too complicated. I've, I've done a lot of electrics and plumbing over the years, um, so I'm not too concerned about doing this work. Obviously, you would then have to have the boiler uh, certified by a gas safe installer, and I think that seems to be fairly common practice uh, and in fact a lot of the boilers come with uh, electric installation pack uh, so you do not have to have an electrician come and do the wiring or certify that either. So then we've got the hall 1800 watts again I've rounded up the watts but BTUs are as uh, the website suggested. Um, now the conservatory the British Gas said do not put a, uh, a radiator in the conservatory um, but we're thinking of uh, changing this at some point in the future and I may insulate the roof um, and a requirement uh, is 4,000 watts. Uh, again, I thought we would fit one in there, whether we turn it on or off, I don't know. We'll have to see what other work gets done to the conservatory. But I don't see, if you're running all that pipe work round, uh, why you wouldn't add a radiator into any given room. Seems pretty stupid. Uh, another big room, this, uh, my wife's card, uh, card room, it's her craft room really, uh, 1600 watts. We've got a downstairs loo which we can fit a very small rad in there, so you know sort of 300 watts uh, sort of size will be uh, fine. And uh, what have we got here? Uh, well, I've got a room there, I haven't, oh I think that is our understairs area yes it is we've got an understair sort of cloakroom which doesn't have heat in at the moment but uh, just thought to keep everything nice and dry uh, a small radiator of uh, 250 watts in there uh, would be quite useful uh, at the bottom of the stairs we've got a window we thought a very small rad there might be uh, quite useful as well uh, main bedroom upstairs Again, just uh, in fact, there's no heating in there at the moment. We just use our um, ensuite heating and our dressing room heating to heat the, uh, the the main bedroom. It works out okay, but in the really cold weather, especially if the wind's coming in from the north, which then hits the front of our house, it just sucks the heat out. The, the house is not well insulated. It's the dormer section's been very badly made. Uh, we're going to have to put it right at some point, but there's going to be a lot of work and a lot of money involved. Uh, so we're going to just have to chuck some money at the gas <laughs> heating to uh, you know try and improve our winters. Um, so yeah, then we've got an ensuite, just a thousand watts there, and uh, our dressing room, fifteen hundred watts. So that's what the online calculators uh, are saying. Um, a uh, big expense these days seems, or certainly with the British gas quote, uh, seems to be uh, the copper pipe. Um, let me get their quote back again. 
I don't know whether you'll be able to see this very well, but the boiler was 1,200, nearly 1,300 pounds. Well, you know, frankly, uh, top of the range Worcester boiler is uh, is going to be no more than that. I think I, I think perhaps Worcester even make this uh, this boiler for British Gas, but 1,300 pounds is going to buy you a fantastic, good quality uh, boiler. They were trying to charge 2,000 pounds here for uh, one year home care cover, flu terminal, condensate connection, pitch through flashing kit uh, to connect the boiler and electrics, uh, a Worcester filling loop and this replacement conventional boiler installation. Well we don't have a boiler so that's not entirely accurate but I think that gets uh, a better price. But it's still £2,000 just for that. Um, we then go on to uh, well, there's a few other things, um, but quite a big one was the radiators. Um, yeah, seven radiators and the control box and things like that. It, basically, it's those two pages together. But it came to four and a half grand. Seven radiators. What and ten miles of copper pipe? You know, it's crazy. I've since found out that you can actually use. Um, a plastic pipe and it's really cheap you can get uh, reels of I think 25 50 or 200 meters a 15 mil plastic pipe which is uh, very suitable for this type of thing um, and I think the 25 meters was about 13 14 pounds something like that so I think uh, because of the price of copper and as you know copper these days is not like copper of the old days in the 70s and 80s it, you know it really isn't the plastic pipe has a 25 year lifespan and I'll be honest I don't think the copper is going to be any longer uh, these days uh, the push fit connections are obviously a slightly more expensive um, but when you look at the prices and you buy in bulk you know 20 straight couplings or whatever the price works out you know very reasonably you know maybe a pound or so uh, per connection so I think we'll be looking at a, a Worcester Bosch boiler and uh, we'll be fitting this up in the loft because we have a uh, an old capped off chimney that we can bolt it to our hot water tank and immersion heater which is our only hot water uh, heating method at the moment is also up in the loft and I suspect we probably won't go for a sealed system because we, if we use uh, what we've got already uh, pipe work wise we could fit a uh, an open vent tank a more modern tank obviously we'd have to change that uh, with very good heat insulation uh, and the boiler can go just next door in the uh, in the loft space which is already boarded and uh, you know is suitable for for that uh, we'll use plastic pipe work I think we came to what was it 10 or 11 you know, 11 12 radiators now from the checking I've done online the biggest radiators uh, size wise are around you know 180 pounds so 12 lots of 180 well it's not 13 grand is it with a boiler so we'll just buy the uh, the right size uh, rads for the room uh, as I said use plastic um, there's obviously going to be a few extra bits and pieces we'll need a new tank new immersion heater bits and pieces and I think I'm just gonna do that uh, myself I, I just you know it's not rocket science there's there's not many guides on YouTube actually. I found a, a good guy uh, at plumberparts.co.uk. He's got a web, uh, sorry, a YouTube channel, and I've just been viewing his uh, videos. They don't always go massively into detail. Um, certainly not the detail I need, but most of it you can research online, and I think that's what I'll be doing over the, the coming weeks. I don't think we'll be starting this. Uh, well, we can't do a hell of a lot until we've got the gas connection to the house. Uh, we do have to run 22 mil copper from the uh, gas meter up into the loft, but it's not a massive run, probably only um, maybe 8 or 10 meters of 22 mil uh, copper required for that. And uh, it's going to take a couple of months, I think, before they can actually uh, do the work. But at least National Grid were you know, over 100 pounds cheaper than British Gas. 
and uh, we will have to find a gas safe engineer who is willing to come out and certify it once it's all been installed. Uh, luckily Debbie's in the building trade and uh, we'll know a few people that can help us out hopefully with a, a few tips and pointers if I get stuck. Uh, and as I say this will turn into uh, uh, probably a video series and uh, we'll just show you, I mean these are the calculations if anything changes or I've made a huge mistake uh, I will obviously update you on, on YouTube and uh, I'll just up, do update videos as we uh, get things done and uh, show you the various steps so, so yeah sorry this has really dragged on a bit but you know I was so disappointed with British Gas and the other companies that we spoken to uh, as they say if you want something done right you've got to do it yourself um, so that's what we're going to do uh, so yeah sorry just dragged on um, hopefully this video and the, the series might help you um, install your own central heating or at least have an idea of uh, the real costs involved and and possibly might save you from being screwed over by a, uh, a large company that frankly should know better so I'll catch you later on the on the forum and uh, and on YouTube. Thanks for watching.